The iPhone 13 Pro Max is what happens when you get nearly everything you could want in a phone. Starting at $1099, this premium flagship packs a 120Hz ProMotion display, the fastest performance of any handset, and truly epic battery life. But it's how the iPhone 13 Pro Max makes me feel when shooting photos and videos that puts it over the top, especially with new features like cinematic mode and super close-up macro shots. I have some complaints though, including what hasn't changed since the iPhone 12. Here's the pros and cons in my iPhone 13 Pro Max review. The iPhone 13 Pro Max retains the flat edges of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but the camera array is larger than before, taking up more space on the back of the phone. On the plus side, the notch is a bit smaller, as Apple shrunk it 20%. It's not a full screen look, but it's an improvement. Weighing 8.5 ounces, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is notably heavier than its 8 ounce predecessor, and just as thick, but I'll allow that given that the new iPhone Pro has a larger battery. My only real complaint with the iPhone 13's design is that it doesn't offer a fingerprint reader like the Galaxy S21, either in the power button or on the display. At a time many are still wearing masks in public places, it would be nice to have an option other than Face ID. The iPhone 13 Pro Max comes in four colors, graphite, gold, silver, and Sierra blue. I would opt for the blue model if paying with my own money. The graphite model I tested is sleek in a professional way, but it's not as fun. The biggest upgrade to the iPhone 13 Pro Max is the new ProMotion display. This 6.7 inch OLED panel can dynamically scale its refresh rate from 10 Hz to 120 Hz, which results in smoother overall performance and animations. For example, when scrolling on websites with the iPhone 13 Pro Max and its predecessor side by side, I could more easily read the text as I scrolled on both displays. These benefits carry over to other animations as well, such as swiping between apps or returning to the home screen. But I'm more excited by apps that take full advantage of ProMotion. One of the first is Catalyst Black, a frenetic online battle game that had me shooting in all directions and transforming into monsters. The whole experience was wonderfully fluid. Another plus is the increased brightness on this panel. We measured over 1000 nits compared to 800 nits for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The Galaxy S21 Ultra maxes out at 821 nits. The iPhone 13 Pro Max has bigger cameras for a reason. The main camera is designed to deliver a 49% boost in light gathering, and the ultra-wide camera offers a larger aperture while delivering a wider field of view. The telephoto camera on the iPhone 13 Pro Max gets a boost as well, as you now get 3x optical zoom, up from 2.5x on last year's Max. There's lots of camera upgrades beyond the hardware. For example, the new macro mode leverages the ultra-wide camera to capture images as close as two centimeters away. I almost felt like an artist getting this close-up of a tree on a nearby beach. The iPhone 13 Pro Max also did a superb job capturing the petals on this purple pansy and the wings and legs on this dreaded spotted lanternfly crawling in the rocks. Another cool new camera feature is photographic styles, which lets you choose how you want your photos to look. Your options include standard, rich contrast, vibrant, warm, and cool. And you can adjust these as you see fit. In terms of overall image quality, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is a step ahead of the competition. Take this photo of Halloween decorations. The iPhone shot delivers a richer orange sign and more details and contrast in the pumpkins. The Pro Max also delivers a more pleasing portrait. My face and green shirt both pop more here. In this next shot, the iPhone more accurately captures the translucence of the water while making the surrounding rocks stand out. The Galaxy S21 Ultra looks flat by comparison. Despite a jump from 2.5x to 3x for the telephoto zoom, the new iPhone is still behind Samsung's best. At 3x, I prefer the look from the S21 Ultra, and at 15x, the writing on the boat looks sharper in the Samsung pick. The iPhone 13 Pro Max literally shines in this selfie comparison with last year's iPhone. My face and blue shirt look brighter with the new iPhone, while I get a little bit lost in the shadows with last year's model. When it comes to ultra-wide photos, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is neck and neck with the S21 Ultra here, but I give a slight edge to the new iPhone because of the detail on the rocks and especially the ripples in the water. To test the iPhone 13 Pro Max in low light, I shot these hydrangea flowers at night in near complete darkness. Neither image looks really sharp, but the iPhone delivers a more accurate pink and more vibrant green leaves. The cinematic video mode on the iPhone 13 Pro Max is so good that you'll feel like a mini Spielberg. That's how I felt after shooting several clips that apply a bokeh effect to your footage and automatically switch the focus between multiple subjects. 
In one video I recorded of two dogs, I appreciated how the iPhone 13 Pro Max automatically blurred out the pup in the background, resulting in a sense of depth. And I could change the focus point on the fly just by pressing on the display. I also had fun with the cinematic mode by having my son capture me walking along a trail, as well as attempting a layup playing basketball. In both cases, the iPhone 13 Pro Max artfully blurred out the background. No matter what you shoot, you won't be disappointed in the video quality. In this shot of a pond, the iPhone 13 Pro Max nails the details in the waterfall while faithfully rendering the colors of each fish in Dolby Vision HDR. Thanks to its new A15 Bionic processor, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is ridiculously powerful and retains the title of world's fastest phone. I didn't notice a single hiccup in the Warp Drive racing game, which delivers fast frame rates and silky smooth action even as you zoom and sometimes teleport around the track. I also got a kick out of Seek, which flexes the Pro Max's machine learning muscles by instantly identifying all sorts of plants, from coleus to New Guinean patients. In terms of benchmarks, the iPhone 13 Pro Max was predictably ahead of the Android field. In Geekbench 5, which measures overall performance, the iPhone 13 Pro Max was way ahead of the Galaxy S21 Ultra and modestly in front of last year's iPhone. You should also expect a graphics boost on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, as it vaulted ahead of the competition on the 3D Mark Wildlife Test. It registered a frame rate of 68 frames per second, compared to 54 for the iPhone 12 Pro Max and 34 for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now we come to one of my favorite things about the iPhone 13 Pro Max, battery life. Thanks to a larger battery and other enhancements, this phone lasted a fantastic 12 hours and 16 minutes on the Tom's Guide battery test, which surfs the web over 5G continuously at 150 nits of screen brightness. The iPhone 12 Pro Max last year lasted 10 hours and 53 minutes, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra endured 411.25. This earns the new Max a spot on our best phone battery life list. The news is not so great on the charging front, as the iPhone 13 Pro Max reaches just 50% capacity after 30 minutes, using a 20 watt USB-C charger. Other phones like the OnePlus 9 Pro get to 100% in 30 minutes or less. MagSafe charging, while convenient, is even slower at 15 watts. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is that rare phone that gets a 5-star rating from Tom's Guide. You get superior cameras and video recording capabilities, including the very compelling cinematic mode and macro mode, plus blistering performance and a very responsive 120Hz display. And the battery life is among the best we've seen from a 5G flagship. Next time around, I'd like to see an even more powerful zoom, and faster charging, and perhaps a full screen design. For now, some may simply prefer the regular iPhone 13 Pro because it's smaller and lighter. But if you prefer a bigger screen, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is the closest thing to perfect you can get in a phone. For Tom's Guide, this is Mark Spoonauer.